what's up family um i've been working on well it's been completed i just didn't do a video i told you guys i was working on a housewarming basket for a family member um that bought their first house that's not the housewarming party that i went to a couple of weeks back um this is for the family member. So I wanted to show you guys what I put in the basket. And everything in this basket came from Dollar Tree with the exception of a candle I found last night at Family Dollar. Um, I didn't find much at Family Dollar, so it wasn't worth uh, doing a haul. Um, I think I spent six bucks. But I'm going to show you the basket now and give you some ideas. Um, and I hope you like it. To spend much um you know to tell somebody congratulations to give somebody a gift um all of these items are things that I would put in my house and that um I hope they enjoy I put two shot glasses in there um they say congrats okay um they didn't have any plain ones and I thought that this was great uh, this is something that they can keep and remember that, you know, listen, buying a house is a major accomplishment. Not everybody is able to purchase a home. So, um, this is just a way to say congratulations. So, there's two shot glasses. Um, what I found at Family Dollar is this candle. Okay, because Thanksgiving is coming up and it'll be their first Thanksgiving in their house i thought this candle was nice it says grateful thankful and blessed it smells great it has like a cinnamon scent to it and um it's looks looks hand painted i don't know but it's probably not but still it's a beautiful um candle jar that they can keep and maybe put another candle in it and um it has the harvest um burnt orange bow you know that's my favorite color um, Dollar Tree at one point had the Eiffel Towers. Um, of course I would love to put a gold one in there, but what I find about Dollar Tree's gold, um, what I find about their gold home decor pieces, after a while they start to fade and look real cheap. So you can't go wrong with getting white. So I got a white Eiffel Tower, okay. Um, this smells great. And this is some pumpkin spice scented potpourri. Um, it's nice. Okay, something for them. And this I thought was just perfect. It says bless our nest. Okay, something that they can hang in the foyer. Um, I found these home decor mirrors. Okay. Um, there I am. Um, I got three of them. Okay. Okay. So three mirrors that they can place anywhere they like. Sorry for the glare. Now you know. Only in my damn video would some shit like that happen. <laughs> Let me pause y'all. Only in an Erica Fuller video would that happen. But anyway, as you can see, I found this nice... Um, basket filler what I did is I packed the bottom with plastic bags and I'm gonna add more filler okay um but I just wanted to show you guys and in the filler that color is like a burnt a shiny burnt orange I thought it was so pretty so if you guys remember my Dollar Tree haul I hold these frames I love the picture frames with the clips um so I enclosed two of them trying to hold the basket steady y'all I'm sorry okay this is their first house and you know who doesn't need picture frames I got another sign that says home sweet home and Dollar Tree wall art let me tell you something this is some high some good quality stuff for a dollar okay and it even comes with the hanging piece okay you can't beat that and then listen they're a young family starting out I love these picture frames and if you could see the wood grain and the metal detail around it so I gave them two five by sevens and one eight by ten so they could have a nice picture frame and when I do baskets I like to put something so you can see something on both sides I got this farmhouse sign um, from Dollar Tree it says home is where the heart is and it has the hanging 
thing in the back. Um, I even bought one for my house um, for a dollar. Are you kidding me? And then this picture frame, okay? I told you I love the um, clip picture frames, okay? Um, because this is their first house and this is just a little something to to start off their home decor add to whatever existing home decor that they have and just to say congratulations um so what i'm going to do is put everything back and i'm going to wrap it with cellophane wrap and um a ribbon all right so here is the finished product um i found this beautiful ribbon and I'm not an expert on tying bows that is not my expertise I'm not even going to try to lie to you and say that it is but I could not pass up on this beautiful um sequence ribbon from Dollar Tree total cost for this basket right here $23 this bucket I got from Dollar Tree okay it is rounded, has handles on the side. To be honest, I was going to use that for ice bucket for my bar. For when I'm entertaining, put some ice in that. Maybe put some beverages in that. Um, but I never used it. So um, it worked out perfectly. Um, everything from the cellophane wrap to the roll of ribbon, which you still have leftover cellophane. You'll still have leftover tape. You'll still have leftover... Uh, ribbon and I still have leftover bag filler if I wanted to use it for something else um but total cost for all of those items was $23 and this is a nice gift it's a personalized gift um it helps if you know somebody decor taste I tried to pick out neutral things like the gold mirrors who wouldn't like that um a candle a harvest candle harvest potpourri shot glasses um, picture frames, I, you know, cause this, these are my in-laws. These are not, you know, maybe if it was somebody who I knew more personally for a longer period of time, I could say, Oh, she loves, um, like I have a coworker who loves flamingos. So whenever I see something in Dollar Tree with flamingos, I get, get it for her. So, um, it helps if you know the person, but if not just get neutral things. Um, and this is the basket. It, and I think it's a great gift. I would be very appreciative. Okay. The only thing with this sequence, um, as you can see, it's all over the bag. So, um, it's kind of messy, but it is what it is. I have some, um, spray, um, that, um, helps with glitter and stuff like that. The only problem is I had no freaking clue it was going to do that. Oh, I would have sprayed the ribbon before I tied it let it dry and then tied it but you live and you learn i know for the next product um the next time i use it i know okay so i just wanted to share that with you guys so that was my basket y'all um i have a quick dollar tree run that i want to run through some things with you guys okay if you remember the christmas the hip-hop christmas haul that i did with the hip-hop christmas Music playing in the background. I was showing you gift ideas and I showed you these scarves from Dollar Tree and I told you it was fleece material. Well, like I said, I don't buy everything from Dollar Tree. Everything is not worth it. The more and more I felt the material, um, I didn't like it. Okay. Uh, it was just, it was a fake fleece. Okay, if that product exists, if fake fleece exists, it was fake fleece. So we're not doing that. Um, I'm going to exchange them. What I got instead were these scarves. Now this feels more like a chenille fabric, okay? Again, I'm not keeping it on this packaging. I'm going to put it in a box. And what I'm thinking about doing, um, I've never experimented with fabric glue. But I think I'm going to get some fabric glue and do some research because I would like to add some rhinestones um, to the bottom of the scarfs by the fringes. Okay, so this color is like a, a plum purple. Then I got a burgundy. Okay, this feels more softer and it just feels better than the other scarfs. Okay, and again, just to jazz it up because they're plain. 
I'm thinking about doing some rhinestone embellish, embellishments to personalize these scarves. And I got a black, okay? And um, with the rhinestone embellishments, um, this will be one single gift. I'm not adding anything to it. I'm going to get a nice pretty gift box. And um, this will be one gift. This feels much better, okay? So I just wanted to tell you guys that if you're in Dollar Tree and you see those fake fleece, it just feels like a fake fleece. I mean, how could you fake a fleece or, or, or fake a fleece? You don't understand what I'm saying. Um, my husband was at work and he said his supervisor had bought everybody apple cider, hot apple cider from Dunkin' Donuts. I got to figure out what's going on with this camera because it zooms, it's blurry, it's, it's, it's crazy. Okay, um... So it comes with four pouches. Um, I'll let him try this because he really enjoyed it. It was his first time trying it. And I've always seen this at Dollar Tree. Maybe it tastes the same. I don't know if there's different varieties of uh, apple hot apple cider. That says spice though. What else did I want to show you guys? Um, these are back. They come in and go. These would be great stocking stuffers for somebody. Um, these are the Dove hand creams. They also have them in the blue. The blue one is much thicker and it has a different scent. This one has more of a floral scent. It's very pretty. Um, these are not gifts. These are um, re-ups re, re for me. Um, maybe, you know, they still have them. I did give them out last year for Christmas. And um, whatever gift I gave somebody, I threw that in. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm trying to find single gift ideas, y'all. I'm going to go crazy if this thing keeps doing this. I'm, I'm going to lose it. Um, I've seen people hauling these online. I only bought one of them so far. This is a, a, a pen stylo. Don't ask me how it's a stylo. I don't see that, but it's so pretty. It's the mermaid one. They had these by the end cap. Um, I'm thinking about keeping it for myself, but I do have a staff member that loves pens. And I'm thinking about putting this along with her other gifts. Okay. Um, I've seen these containers. I love the food storage containers at Dollar Tree. That's all I buy. If they get stained, if they get old, I toss them and I don't feel bad about it. Okay. Um, like I told you guys, it's crock pot season, um, homemade soup season, sauce season, whatever you cook. Um, these would be good for soup and this would be good like for sauce sometimes. Um, my husband likes to save the gravy or some of something or, or the sauce. I don't know. He, he loves that. I don't know why, but he does. And um, this would be good containers. You get two. It's BPH free. Um, and it's a twist top. It's not a snack top. It's a twist top. And it even has measurements on it. Okay. It has the measurements if you want to know how much. So I thought this was pretty cool. Um, it was my first time seeing them or maybe... I didn't look, so they could have been there, okay? Um, so I did pick that up. Um, this sign, I think I bought this and exchanged it before. I really do, but I really like it. It says, thankful, grateful, and blessed, and it's gray. Um, my bedroom is gray, but my bedroom is gray and silver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can um, spray paint the frame, which I'm pretty sure I can do, and I would love to hang this in my bedroom. Um... One second. <clears throat> um, I had vowed after I was sick the other day, I wasn't sure what made me dizzy because when I came home after running around doing that hole, um, I had the sinus headache, I had the congestion and I took two, uh, sinus headache pills that I got from Dollar Tree and their brand of, is Assured, okay? I don't know if it's Dollar Tree brand or just a brand Dollar Tree buys. I think Big Lock sells Assured too. Anyway, right after I took that, I felt dizzy as hell. I couldn't really stand. I was playing with my new toy, washing my husband's scrubs, and I damn near had to go lay down. So I really thought maybe were they expired? Like what's going on? But when you have a sinus infection, sometimes it can throw off your equilibrium, um, make you feel dizzy, make you feel unsteady. So I don't know what it was, guys. But I said I never was going to mess with their medication again. Well, here I go today. This is maximum strength, mucus relief, cold, flu, and sore throat. It says compare to maximum strength mucinex. And you get eight soft gels. And it's for adults. Um, 
12 and adult to adults okay i listen i bought it okay it's that time of year everybody's sick i'm in the stores everybody's coughing it's crazy so um here i go again y'all um <laughs> but i think oh it's not over yet um just more fabric softener okay i ran out of the uh, downy and also the gain fabric softener that machine if you guys purchase it I'm gonna do an update with that machine you don't use as much detergent don't ask me why you just don't and um, these bottles are great because this cap full is really all you need of the detergent uh, or the fabric softener and this is gain fabric softener so I just got more I just picked it up um, this is another co-worker gift um, this is going to be for one of my care managers. I found the tea lights for my village, guys. They had bigger ones, but I wasn't sure how big the opening was, so I got the smaller ones. So I got four, so all of my houses could be lit up, because like I said, I ain't got no people outside. Everybody's inside. It's cold. Um, these shiny lip glosses from LA Colors, if you see them and you love lip gloss, grab them up, because these things are the bomb.com. So, a color I'd never seen before was Pinkaboo. Okay? Maybe, I don't know if I got it already. Some of these colors with this one, I'm not going to lie to you guys, are pretty similar. They'll have different names, but you hold them next to each other and you're like, they look so similar. So, I don't remember having Pinkaboo. So, I got two Pinkaboo. One for me, one for her, and I also got her this color. I have this color and it's pretty. It's called Twinkle. And what I'm going to put this inside is I got her um, a cosmetic bag. I love the clear cosmetic bags for myself. So I got her the ones with the hot pink and the pineapple. She's a young girl in her 20s, okay? She's a girly girl. So what I'm going to do is put the two lip glosses inside with some Christmas candy, and that's a gift, okay? So that's a gift for 3 bucks. okay? I'm not counting the candy because the candy I'm going to buy... You know, boxes of candy canes, boxes of chocolate, snowmen, Santa Claus, or whatever. So I'm not, I'm not really counting the candy, but three dollars for a gift. And she, you know, she's a young girl. She parties and she wears makeup. So, um, I would wear this. And like I said, I don't give anybody something that I wouldn't use. Um, this is not just about oh, let me just try to get the most cheap gift. Um, a lot of these products I use on a daily basis. So, um. That's about it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the ideas for the housewarming basket. I hope you're enjoying the gift ideas. In November, we're going to put everything together. When I say put everything together, I want to, like if I say, we're going to make a, a little gift basket or we're going to put together this gift bag. I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? Not that you can't do it, but just some ideas, okay? Thanks for watching.